Hello everybody and welcome back. We'll have a look at another command today to automate the process of tattooing the operating system, uh, Windows 7 operating system the way we want it after install. Uh, so as we said, all these commands you can add them to a bad file and run it either at logon or uh, using PSXEC or any other replication program to all the PCs in the network. So the command that we're going to have a look today, we want to modify the Windows Explorer settings so that um, the menu is uh, is always showing right for example in my Windows Explorer right here you don't you don't see the menu showing right so um, we can we can do this either from here organize folder and search option view always show menus right click apply OK and you're gonna see them right here you're gonna see the menu right here so we want this to be shown for all the users um, in our organization or network or whatever, right? So let's let's take it out for now. Let me take it out. There we go. Of course, it's very easy to do it like this, but the our interest is to do it automatic, right? To put all these commands in a batch file and just run them across the organization. Right, so to do this, we need to modify a registry key. Right, let's see exactly where that registry key is. Okay, so let's see for local machine. We're gonna go to local machine. Uh, should be in software Microsoft Windows Corning Version Explorer. Software Microsoft Windows Windows Conversion. Explorer and should be in advanced, I think. Advanced, let's see. Always showing. There you go. Always show menus. Right here. So what what we want is to have this value always one, right? This value right here, and all also the same value, but and current user. Right, so if, if we go to current user, in the same the same path, software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, Explorer, and advanced. This value should also be one which right now is zero as you can see. Okay, so this is the path. If you call it user, so far so far. Okay, let's put this over here so we can see it. So we can see the path. There we go. And the command we're gonna use is regad. And it's gonna be Each key current user software Microsoft Windows I just said current version Explorer Advanced This is not needed. The key we need to modify is always show menus. The type is reg D word. As we said before, you need to specify the type as well. Otherwise, if you don't specify the type, it will add a default one with, let's say it's not the reg D word, is a different one, and it's going to add a default one 
on top of the one you have already if the type is different, right? So, oh, this actually doesn't look right. I can modify this right here. Always, I don't know what this is here. Always, channels. Okay. So, type reg D word. The value we need to add is one. I'm going to put a, a slash F. So, slash F means it's never going to request for confirmation, right? There you go, it's added, and the same command you need to you need to put in the bat file for uh, local machine, right? So you, you need to modify the current user in the local machine as well for this to, to show up for all the users. Right? So instead of current user, we're gonna do local machine. There you go. So let's see. I'm gonna open up Explorer and see this actually replicated. There you go. This is the menu right here. The command actually worked, and this option is activated now. There you go. It's activated. All right. I'm going to add this command to the comments of the video so you guys can uh, can copy it and use it. Um, and uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the videos, and don't forget to check out our blog, Watermark, with the bottom of the video. Thank you.